Hello YouTube, all flight sim uh, on approach into Edinburgh in the PMDG 747-400. Uh, I've already started our descent and um, about to call up Scottish Centre on 123.77. So. Scottish Centre, good evening. Uh, Cog looks 249 and descending for over 220 inbound in PIP uh, to Echo. Uh, last session, repeat the call sign only, please. So, uh, Cog looks 249. Might not need to. I've put a hold in place at uh, Tartan just up here. Um, I don't think I'll need that now, so I'll probably delete that. Uh, Cargo locks 249, you're outside my control, I only cover Northern Ireland, so uh, 22 at 2. Okay, over to you, Nicole, thanks, bye. Bye. Uh, okay, I thought Scottish Centre would cover this part of the world, but uh, just check, is it Scottish Centre that it was? Uh, Scottish Control, so I'm entering, so yeah, okay, it's Unicom, but don't mind. Edinburgh traffic, uh, cog looks 249s inbound, ILS runway 24 on the in-pip uh, approach, uh, just coming up, uh, descending flight of 2 zero. I'm about 15 out. Okay, just made an announcement on Unicom to the traffic, uh, Edinburgh. Um, so you know where we where we are. We just kept just gone past Inrev. Uh, it's, uh, it says you have to be at flight level two zero zero by that waypoint. Um, and as you can see, we're at uh, flight level two zero zero, just one uh, twenty thousand one hundred feet. I've put the MCP altitude down to seven thousand. Um, so that ensures we get to Tartan at uh, flat level 70 at uh, speed 230. From there, I th um, probably going to. Uh, normally, I'd, I'd be vectored if, if ATC was on, they'd vector me to the feathers here at uh, the 241. Sorry, on the uh, runway 24 into Edinburgh. So I'm just going to check um, the approach. Alice approaches 108.9 on a course heading of 241. Um, Decision height of um, down at 300 feet. I've already changed the decision height on the EFIS panel here. Uh, I've got 300 uh, already marked. Uh, the weather in Edinburgh, it's nice and clear at the moment. Uh, Echo Golf Papa Hotel, second day, 1650 Zulu. Uh, winds are 2715 knots, so earlier they were gusting up to 23, so the winds, the weather has improved a little bit. So winds coming on the right hand side at 30 degrees, 15 knots. Cav okay, ceiling and visibility is okay. Temperature is 9 degrees of dew point zero two. When those two get together, you get a bit of dune. Um, them uh, on the screens. Uh, QNH 1009 is now with the significant weather. So 1009, it's going to adjust the. Oops, I didn't want to go to that yet. I'm just going to put that in standby. 1009, and here it is. Transition altitude is uh, 6,000 feet. So I'm going to stay on standard until we get uh, to 6,000 feet, and I'll switch to 1009. Quite low on fuel, 4.2, 4,200 kilograms of fuel. Um, if I click the progress page, it tells me we're estimated to have 3.3, so I'm going to deduct 1,000 kilograms of fuel off our gross weights. So if I put 222, 222,000 kilograms here, Gives me a uh, flaps 25 at speed of 140, so I'm going to select that, uh, and then I'll, I've parked it, so it comes down here. So this is my ref, ref speed on approach. Um, with those winds of 12 knots, I'll be adjusting it manually to come in. Started descending now below 20,000, so at Tartan for uh, 7,000 feet. So as I said, I, I put a hold. I was expecting to have to hold here, but I don't need to, to do that now. Uh, looking at the charts, um, typically hold um, at Tartan at 7,000 speed 230. Inbound course is 015 degrees with a left-hand turn, uh, distance 3.5 nautical miles for the hold. 
Uh, that's what I've uh, I put in here. So uh, as it doesn't come up on this one, oops. Yeah. So what I did is I, I put zero one five forward slash L for left, and then just below that I uh, I entered. Oh, here it is. Look, zero one five degree. Uh, just put zero one five forward slash L. That's for the left turn, and then I put a distance of. 3.5 nautical miles here and then I clicked execute and that brings up this hold here. I'm not going to be holding there so I'm going to go straight to Charlie, uh, straight to the feathers really. Uh, need to be at 3,000 feet there. Above 3,000 feet for that waypoint. So as you can see um, straight from Tartan straight um, Charlie 124 and then um, straight in on final runway 24. I'm just going to put a fix in just to help give me a better idea. Um, a quick look. Uh, EDN, I think it is. Uh, yes, it is. Echo Delta November. It's the uh, ADF for, for Edinburgh. E. D. N. And uh, 341, it always puts the, this obviously it's three uh, Echo Delta November's in its database. We know it's 341 after checking the charts here. It always brings the most likely to the top. Uh, but we want uh, 241 is the course here for ILS 241. And I'm going to put distance, uh, distance 12 I think. So 241 backslash 12 for the distance uh, and as you can see that's inserted uh, a circumference around Edinburgh the radius of uh, 12 nautical miles um, next page I'm just going to go straight to the feathers here so I can get rid of the hold now I did that by moving Charlie 124 up straight below Tartan um, I've only got nine nautical miles to go. I need to lose a bit of altitude. Right, Edinburgh approach is on. That's 121.20. Oh, that beeping noise was air traffic control asking me to contact them. Edinburgh. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Cog looks 249. It's currently 12,000 feet for seven for t uh, coming up to Tartan. Cog looks 249, Edinburgh radar. Good evening. Vector dial left approach runway 24, descend flight level 80. Uh, vectors for the Alice 24. Um, can you give me the altitude again? I didn't read about that. Cog looks 249. Cog looks 249, descend initially flight level 80 and turn right heading 020 degrees. Get down uh, flat level 8-0 and uh, you'll read back about 2 out of 5. I'll just change my volume if I can. So I didn't hear the heading. Uh, zero, 0 2 zero degrees. I'll see what I can do from here. Uh, zero, 2 zero degrees. That was a 5 of 5 that time. Thank you very much. Uh, Cog was 249. Uh, uh, zero, 2 zero. He's asked me to go to uh, flat level 8-0. Um, so we can stay at standard. Uh, if you can't hear the controller, just confirm. Uh, the readback, I don't know if it's picked up on the video, was quite poor, so I, I just said readback to about 2 out of 5. Um, and then, if you noticed, he altered his uh, microphone uh, settings and it improved. So, readback 5.5 five is a uh, perfect readback uh, for sound quality. So, we can see I'm um, a little bit high here. Shuttle 1 for Papa requesting to um, That's why he's vetted me. Shuttle 1 for Papa. The direct uh, entry. Continue with Unicorn 1. Told me to go to, to flight level 8 0. Unicorn 1 um, 2 that's my Shuttle 1 for Papa. Good day. Let's see if I can reduce my speeds fine uh, to 30. Uh, I've already set my auto brakes to 2. Um, uh, speed brakes are on, uh, just below 10,000, so uh, yeah, I've already put those light landing lights on. Um, he's told me it'd be vectors for the Aris runway 24, so they're going to give me directions. Right, 249, descent to altitude 5,000 feet, Edinburgh, QNH 1009. 
Down to 5,000 feet, QNH 1009, cargo looks 249. There we are. Uh, if you notice before it's flight level 80, they're the altitudes they give you for standard and then once they give you the thousands uh, you know you're going to be flicking to the QNH, local QNH, Edinburgh is 1009. Um, right, so 5,000 feet. I'm uh, going to do a flight level change and just bring it down a little bit quicker. Uh, flying with real weather from Active Sky next. Um, Got uh, Orbex, True Earth, uh, Scotland, and all the global uh, Orbex add-ons. Uh, we in the PMDG 747400. Oh, just serves a bit of traffic in the area. Just oh, that's me coming in. There's a bit of traffic as you can see in the uh, local vicinity. So we're about 48 minutes into the flight uh, since the engine startup, and so we're flying from uh, Luxembourg today with Cargo Lux freighter. Uh, quite low on fuel, just 3,700 um, levers um, to Presswick's our alternate airport, but the uh, progress page tells us we're going to be arriving with 3.3. Uh, tons of fuel, 2,300 kilograms of fuel. Just going to reduce the speed of touch down to the approach Advanced speed. 249, approximately 22 two track miles to run, descent to altitude 3,500 feet. Down to 3,500, uh, cargo looks 249. There we go. Down to 3,500. Good evening, hello, Sandra 204, passing flight level 138, down inbound Haven, degrees. information, Oscar Airbus 8321. As you can see, that uh, track we added earlier, the distance is 12. Uh, very good indication uh, and, and, and uh, a good aid to help you. Zero four three four and back know exactly where you are without four, checking. Look for the two zero four. Just all back to Earth. A quick look outside. And look for the two zero four. Confirm. Squawk zero three four four. Uh, zero four three four. Zero four, in Scotland. Four. I'm having a bit of flickering at the moment. Uh, problem with V-Sync, I think it is, but uh, there's Edinburgh. Two four nine, turn left, heading three three zero degrees. Left turn three three zero degrees. Cog looks two forty nine. Uh, left turn three thirty. Sandra, Sandra two zero four, turn right, heading three six zero degrees. Descent flight level eight zero. He's heading flight level 80 and uh, right heading 340 degrees. Confirm, I'm uh, looking at the 204. I've got chase plane. Heading 360 degrees. To do it, this is fine. Correction, so we've got the uh, flaps. Degrees, uh, 204, thank you. 10 degrees. And that's the... Uh, 241 heading out from Edinburgh. Uh, Cargo looks 249, descent to altitude 2500 feet. Down to 2500, Cargo looks 249. Okay, 2500 feet. Let's bring it down to about 1700 feet a minute. That's our descent rate. We're on our approach speeds, 217 knots. H is set 1009 here. We've got a uh, speed ref of uh, flaps 25 at 140 and uh, minimum descent altitude set at 300. Uh, put approach mode here. Let's back up. There we go. Um, got auto brakes are set and speed brakes are armed. He's vectoring us in. As soon as he's cleared us for the approach, I'll arm the uh, approach. Um, I've parked the frequencies here. 1089 at 243. Carbox 249, turn left heading 275, clear ILS approach, runway 24, report established. 
Uh, left turn 275, and uh, I'll get back to you once established. Dialus 24, Cogs 249. There we are. So turning left 275, and then he's cleared us for the approach. Uh, he wants us to get back to him when uh, we are established, uh, when we're on the glide scope. So reduce the speed a touch down to 200. Scene we've got for Edinburgh's UK 2000. Um, Actually, no, it's, it's all back to uh, Edinburgh, sorry. So I'm just going to flick to the approach here. You um, can see we've picked up uh, when this diamond gets to the, this level here, or on the attitude indicator at that level bar, we're now established. I'm going to click approach now. We've got three autopilot pilots so engaged. Box, three, five, track run, you can see the bar coming into the centre, should start zero turning nine. left. Defending altitude 6000, one zero zero nine. Uh, in, in, but it's not on, but you can see we're, we're now turning on to the uh, 241 heading. Heading select automatically goes to the uh, course. It's gone to 243, not 241, so leave it there for now. It's probably taken into account uh, wind that's blowing uh, at the moment at uh, 27 degrees at 300. We're not established yet, so I'm just going to bring the speed right down. Gears down, that's that. Just above the uh, speed ref 160. Uh, fuel. Cargo 249, to established. Uh, just coming up to be established now, Cargo 249. Cargo 249, thank you. Contact tower 118, DF 07, bye bye. 118, 7 for the tower, Cargo 249, thank you, bye. 118.70 and go to the tower. Flaps 10. Edinburgh Tower, good afternoon. Uh, Coglux 249, uh, Alice 24 established. Coglux 249, Edinburgh Tower, hello, Roman 24, clear to land, surface wind 270 degrees, 150. Clear to land, Alice 24, Coglux 249, over. Okay, we just need to clear those alerts. Uh, just a recall. I'll just clear. Gears down, green light, flaps to five. Uh, arm, speed brakes are on, uh, auto brakes set Stand to uh, box, Charlie. all the lights are on. And we're clear to land. To uh, just got land three. Uh, speed ref is 140. Just going to go down to. Skyway is 1428. Um, tower, hello. Uh, you're clearing to the Heathrow over the Gotham 1 Charlie departure, runway 24, squawk 5014. Clear to Heathrow, Gossa 1 Charlie. Straight ahead, 3000. Runway 24, uh, squawk 5014. Sky is 1428. Sky is 1428, that is correct. Four miles out. Two, four. I'll be going to park uh, around this area here. Edinburgh Tower, Gulf, Papa Gulf, uh, just form that long uh, gamut tower station. Requesting to re enter the zone via a forward. Thousand feet. Oh, Fabergolf, uh, Roger, it's basic service, Fabergolf, 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 you are cleared to re enter the Edinburgh control zone from the west, at or below, altitude 1500 feet, VFR, Edinburgh QNH 1009, squawk 7010. Okay, we're cleared uh, to enter the zone uh, via the. Uh, Getting a bit loud speed, just give it a bit more juice. Go for a golf, correct. Report your intentions, uh, you're re entered. Go for a golf, which is an elevation issue, but it's not. Doesn't like. Go for a golf, Roger. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Skyways 1428, request start up and push back. Skyways 1428, stand 8, push and start approved. Reverse thrusters, all four green, and where are they? Centre line, just turn Start up and push back through, Skyways 1428. Speeds 
80. Let's get rid of that auto brake. Come off. So the next left. Head of Metal, good evening. Ryanair 813, stand 104, Boeing 738, with information uh, Charlie so requesting an iPhone clearance to Dublin. Edinburgh's. Oh god, oh, I'll just get back to the cockpit before I go off the line. That's it. Let's vacate here. Speeds. Ryanair 813, Edinburgh Metal, hello, clearance Dublin, Gotham 1 Charlie, 4443. Dublin via the Gotham Watch Charlie departure. Uh, Edinburgh ground four, four, on, four, so I'm just parked right here for the time being. Should I say right traffic three, on. Truck B49, welcome to Edinburgh Taxi Alpha Papa, stand 204. Alpha 204, Cogluts 249, thank you. Okay, uh, take the landing lights off, the stove can come off, and let's get the APU running. Hopefully it won't fail on, on us today. One thing I forgot to do on one of my recent uh, uh, videos was in the PMDG 747-800 it's got a built-in map facility you can use with the... Uh, which is quite useful. Um, right, don't want to get taxi speed too far up, I just need to work out where 204 is. Uh, let's have a look if I go to Edinburgh and then go to Stans. 204 is right here, so Alpha, Alpha and Alpha then Alpha Mike Hold Quebec. Hold up the 4th uh, Road Bridges, VLP. Hold up the 4th Road Bridges, VLP, circle, can I go back? Got some VFR traffic uh, flying in. Requested to go to a VRP, visual reference point. He's got a 4601, sorry about with you. Stand number 9 this time, uh, 7700 uh, Charlie, 101, oh, 1009. I'll take off checklists, uh, landing lights, rust strobes are Grice 3 Charlie, 6336, Traffic here. Uh, we've got some traffic. Charlie 636 and uh, KH1009 Scandi. Scandi 4601, correct. When you see these white CRJs, most of them are uh, on VATSIM, but uh, the model matching is not quite worked out. Uh, so the defaults on mine is a CRG1, a CRG. So. Right, so I think it's. Um, well, we're coming up Alpha, just passing here, so we're going to right turn um, Mike, that's a bit wider than Papa, and then... Golf, Papa Golf, join and report right downwind, runway 24. Uh, join and report uh, right downwind, runway 24, Papa Golf. Golf, Papa Golf, traffic, left hand A321, uh, establishing on the ILS for runway 24. See you right. next, right. Okay, uh, traffic is at left hand A321, and we'll report next side, Golf, Papa Golf. Let's just change our view perspective, get a bit lower down. I've got an aircraft coming in on final. Let's see it up here, look. I notice it on TCAS. It's about six miles away. So good day, Lufthansa 204, LS24. Lufthansa 204, Adam Retire, hello, traffic is a Cessna 172 on right downwind, runway um, 24 with traffic, runway 24 cleared to land, surface wind 270 degrees, 15 knots. Clear to land, uh, runway 24, Lufthansa 204. Uh, just turn and scan today, being 4601, stand number 9, line. ready for show. Scan the 4601, uh, stand by, got another aircraft pushing, Golf, half a Golf, go ahead. Uh, hey, yeah, what, we stand the 204, as you see, it's an amazing uh, final. You are number two to that traffic, of, uh, Edinburgh. Uh, this is 203, okay, and then two, uh, the next two one's four, 204. And, uh, uh, Scandi 4601, after the UK virtual 737 passes left to right behind. Right, uh, this, nine, uh, left here. Uh, Just 
slightly over it, but uh, that's fine. There we go. That's a bit too large for 747, but never mind. Okay, uh, we're going to put the parking brakes on for now. Just check the APU is running. I did switch it on, but it didn't. Uh, oh, that's, sometimes it doesn't always come on, so even holding for three seconds. So it's going to go to the menu and then let's request the. Uh, on. Let's put the wheel chocks on and request uh, ground Gulf power. Uh, uh, get rid of the flight yeah, Golf Papa uh, Golf, uh, VFR circuits are done under your discretion, so that's absolutely fine. You call me turning final. Okay, we'll call you, uh, we'll call you Channing, fine, AP still didn't come on, so let's just take the extender power up there. Skyways 1428 tower. And let's shut the engines go. down. Make sure yeah, there's no fuel flow. How much are you going to move for taxi, sir? You can see the coming um, down, so we can remove the beacon. As soon as the, um, tug, uh, right, the moves away, on. should be a minute. Uh, hydronics. Skyways 1428, roger. Scandi 4601, about a minute away. Can come off. Well, that's it. Uh, the aircraft coming in here. Look, on final. Um, quick look outside. And, well, that's it. Flight from uh, PMG 747-400 into Edinburgh on VATSIM. Uh, got an Airbus A320, I think it is, coming in. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see any any more particular um, videos, just let me know what you want to see, and if I've got it, I'll I'll uh, put it together for you. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you've seen. I've done anything wrong. Let me know. Uh, you know, I'm always trying to learn new things. I, I fly quite a lot of different types of aircraft, so I'm not an expert in any way. Um, but I'm always willing to uh, pick up new tips you can give me. So I'm going to end the video here now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for another video. Thanks. Bye -bye.